The South Australian Community Services and Health Industry Skills Board is undertaking workforce planning because the aged care industry is facing a lot of cha challenges um, when it comes to workforce planning. The age cohort of employees in aged care is slightly higher than the national average, so there's a lot of structural issues that need to be addressed. We're using a five-stage approach to workforce planning. The first stage is around looking at the organisational context. It's all about looking at the external environment. The second stage is around developing a profile of the current workforce within the organisation. The third stage is around looking at what the future workforce profile needs to be. And then the fourth stage is around getting into the data and working out what are, what are the gaps um, within there um, that are the issues. And then finally, it's about putting a workforce development plan together. We're using three types of e-learning tools within our project. The first is a webinar space. So we're bringing together the participants in a virtual environment so that we can have synchronous communication and talk through and work through our projects together. The second tool is around a communication space. The communication space we're using is a learning management system. We're using Moodle. We're putting all of our project documents up there. The other thing that we're doing with our Moodle, which is a little bit different, is we're offering the participants the ability to be able to go in and edit that course and maybe have a course space of their own because we see learning management systems maybe as being a key feature of their workforce development plans in the future. We're also using social networking in terms of a LinkedIn group, and this is a national group, uh, and it gives people the opportunity to collaborate um, and talk to people outside of their organisational context, even outside of their industrial context. The participants are working on a workforce development project within the, in their organisation. This is quite interesting that in our first in our first meeting we asked, "Do you have a workforce planning uh, profile already available? And if so, are you happy with it?" And a few of our participants already had a workforce plan available, but they weren't happy with that. So the project that everyone's working on is to develop a workforce profile um, of their organisation, and that's going to be the primary form of evidence for the units of competency that we're going to be assessing against. It's really hard to identify what form of innovative e-learning solutions that our participants are going to use within their workforce development strategy because it's going to be so personalised for each organisation. So what we're planning to do is work one-on-one -on -one with each of the participants to look at what are their you know, their particular issues, what is the access to technology, what's the levels of digital literacy and from that develop innovative, um, innovative tools in the future. When we put a call out for the project, we received a wide range of applications from a wide range of participants. We've got small organisations, medium, large organisations. So from the smaller organisations, we've got CEOs. From the larger organisations, we've got HR managers and workforce development managers. We've also got directors of nursing, we've got um, HR managers, we've got residential care managers. So everyone was self-selected because they have some point in their uh, job roles, they deal with workforce planning. It's really important for us that our learners sustain these outcomes across their organisation and they're sustainable for the future. So what, our, what we're working with is we're working really hard to make sure that our learners become organisational champions, so within their organisation. The networks that we're setting up across the industry means that they'll be champions across the industry. And of course, by having national exposure via the LinkedIn groups, we also have, they also have the opportunity to sort of work on a national stage as well. So it's really about working one-on-one -on -one with organisations and individuals to make sure that they're realistic in their workforce development projects and that they uptake and they embrace the e-learning tools so that they become champions. We've selected four units from business services training package around workforce plan planning. Um, we've got evidence that we've selected the right units as we asked our participants to do a skills book profile. The skills book profile basically is a profile that is put together across many units taken from many training packages. We call it the workforce architects profile. It basically tells us um, what competencies participants have. So we're pretty confident that we've selected the right um, units based on the skills book profile. 
e-learning as a set of tools allows our businesses and our organisations to provide training that's just in time for each employee as to when they need it to perform the tasks that they need to, to, to um, perform. So we see e-learning as being able to breach geographical distances, it's able to breach temporal distances, we're able to bring people together and also allow people training and access to skills when and where they need to and the way they like it.